Hey there, this is Joe from Shop 2 and I'm joined by Dan. Hello. And this is our review for Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Uh, for console? It's for PlayStation 4, but it's also out in PlayStation Vita. Now, uh, before I played Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, I was thinking it was about like Pokemon. <laughs> That's what I mean, that is my recollection of Digimon and that was quite a long time ago. I actually didn't realise it still existed. I thought Pokemon kind of nuked everything out of the water. But there you go. I think even Yu-Gi-Oh still exists. So that's a surprise to me. Yeah, so it is basic. It's it's basically like Pokemon. I mean, yeah. you play a sort of jam, 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 Japanese amateur sort of hacker, I presume she is. Her name's Takumi. And uh, it's... It's quite weird. I mean, yeah, Japanese games kind of do tend to go a bit out there sometimes, but you kind of start off in this sort of weird, sort of white world, and you sort of, I guess you're in cyberspace, I guess that's the, the crux of it, really. And then you end up in this sort of weird digital space where you meet this other woman who then introduces you to your Digimon, and you get to choose one of them. And I chose this really cool one with big floppy ears. It's well cute. <laughs> but isn't, isn't, are they supposed to fight? I don't think cute helps when you're fighting, does it? No, but it, it did because it used its ears to do this mad world one thing. Yeah. What, sort of, what sort of gameplay are we talking about here? Is it like a turn based? It's got Pokemon. That's exactly what it's like. You've so you got, you, you, you got your enemy on the screen and you've got your character and you just take turns using a special move, is yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. You you run around sort of uh, exploring what you do and other games like that. So what's can... exploring? Is that top-down or is that 3D? No, it's not. It's like a it's third-person sort of view where you, just, what, you see the person and you just run around and you can talk yeah. to everybody and... Uh, Oh, that's so professional. I know. I can't believe my phone just beating my dear of you. That really put me up. No, but anyway, you run around uh, and you can just talk to people and explore and find more sort of Digimon and sort of name them, equip them, evolve them sort of thing. So, yeah, it's, it's just like Pokemon. I mean, I never played it before. I'd never seen it before. It was a... Uh, I still sort of remember the cartoons from... I saying that I probably shouldn't be watching cartoons when I was sort of 18. <laughs> I mean, Saturday morning hangover. But uh, that's kind of when I used to watch Digimon. Yeah, I mean, I guess what you say about it is it's... Uh, it's just like a JRPG, really. I mean, it's what, just... What's the uh, graphics like? I mean, is it um, anime-style graphics or more sort of retro look to it? How's that, how's that work? I would say it's sort of anime anime look but it, it's just it's course. quite yeah but it's quite hard to explain because just because of what the environment's got like it's not like anything you've seen before it's quite although saying that later on in the game it does kind of become more sort of normal but just when you're running about in these sort of hubs it's just all white and there's just no the art world almost yeah much to see. and then you're in this there's this part when you're in this weird sort of you jump into a TV and then you're in this sort of weird cyber sort of space where you're kind of, you have to push forward and the stick and you can go left, right. And it's this, it's almost like you're going down a cable, like an electrical cable sort of thing. Right. And uh, then in the middle of all your fighting and, oh my God, there's just... It's obviously a huge game. I mean, I've not really scratched the surface, I don't think. Is it a sort of game that you're going to want to keep on playing? I mean, like with Pokemon, it's the tag that I've got to catch them all. Do you feel like you need to continue playing to get all these characters and make a better army of Digimonsters? Or... Yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah? the sort of game that I don't think I would really like it. But from playing it, like uh, what I've played so far, I've quite enjoyed it, actually. It's yeah. quite... It's quite... Uh, Different. <laughs> so what's, what's, I mean, so you said Digimon Monster Sleuth, was that what you said? Or? Digimon Story Cyber Sorry. Sleuth. What's good about Sorry. it, actually, I'll just say this. Uh, what's good is that it's kind of like a console version. I mean, I, maybe people who like Pokemon will be like, how dare you say it's got Pokemon? It's 
dingy. But I don't know if there's this big rivalry or it ranges be Celtic where if you say one's got the other, you get yeah. you get I think to the layman, I'm sure to us this is exactly the same, but I think to the people that really get into those sort of games, there's gonna be huge differences. Which is cool, you know, and uh, I mean so I mean would you take any any sort of positives from that game? My, the positives for me is it's like a console version of Pokemon. <laughs> uh, and yeah. obviously you don't really get a console version of Pokemon, do you? I mean, insane. I don't know why they've never made one yet. So it's kind of like, wow, here it is. Yeah. I've never so got in, why they don't make in that. that respect, I'm quite pleased. I mean, I'm not, I've not played pure tons and tons of it, I have to admit. Uh, but I've played... I've played quite a few hours, so I've, I feel that I've not really scratched the surface as such. So this is more of a sort of, I'd say, preview than brief, review. Brief summary of your initial thoughts. But uh, we can't be experts. I mean, we've got so many games to play, we can't be experts at the all, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. But so far, so good. I mean, I think, I feel I've got a lot more to learn about Digimon before, before I could actually form a 100% correct opinion but ah. from what I've played so far I like it and I think I think I can see me playing more of it which actually surprises me because I didn't think that I would well, like it's a good it. sign because it's, it's not your classic game that you would play as no. a gamer so the fact that you feel that you can actually go back and play more of it is actually a decent sign of a game that maybe worth people might look into that aren't into that sort of classic Japanese sort of style game yeah, exactly. So, so far, so good. So, cool. Digimon. <laughs> there you go. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it there. That's sort of a little review or whatever yeah, you where, want to call where, it. Where can we buy this from? Digital online or what? Yeah, you can Retail. buy the PS4 copy from Shop 2, but you can't buy the uh, PS Vita version at retail, I don't believe. I think you have to pay uh, buy that digitally as far as oh. I know. There, there you go. go. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.